Welcome to The Root of All Broth. This is the show where we talk about the inspiration behind the foods that we cook. And today we're continuing our celebration of the 4th of July. And not only that, we're also celebrating, and I'm very inspired by Hamilton finally coming out on Disney Plus, the full play. We could not be more excited. So I decided to think about the American dessert, apple pie, and really rethink that idea and play with the diversity of the Hamilton cast. And today I came up with a spectacular dessert, an apple crit tostada. So let's get cooking. Okay, so this dessert is going to be a lot like a tostada, which means toasted. It's going to be a sopapilla layered with whipped cream, a crepe, and some wonderful stewed apples. So first we're gonna start by creating our apples. I've taken one apple, one red apple, and we've gone ahead and just sliced that. And to that, I'm going to add a half of a cup of moreno sugar, three cloves. Then I'm going to take a half of a teaspoon of Chinese five spice. And you might be thinking, what? But this is really gonna give it a great kick. And a little diversity, right? And then we're gonna add another half of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then we're gonna add a half of a teaspoon of our homemade vanilla extract. And I said in another episode, I do not like vanilla extract. I don't like regular vanilla extract, but this homemade vanilla extract is just extract. It's just um, vanilla and alcohol. So it's, it's pure vanilla. It's not, um, nothing's been added to it. So it's wonderful to use. Okay, so we're gonna turn this on and I'm gonna start stewing my apples. I'm gonna put it on medium high heat and we're gonna go ahead and let that get cooking for a little while and start to stew those apples. While the apples are on the back of the stove stewing, we're gonna go ahead and make our crepes because we can make the crepes and set them aside for later. If you have a small pan like this, this is perfect because we can not only use this for our crepes, but also for our tostadas later. I do have a crepe pan, but I don't want the crepes to be that large. I want them to be the same size as the tostadas, so I'm gonna use this pan instead. So I have here one tablespoon of butter, one teaspoon of salt, we have one fourth of a cup of milk, one fourth of a cup of flour, and an eighth of a cup of water. And to that, I'm gonna add one egg. Of course, all of our recipes and our instructions are in the description. Make sure you just click the See More tab at the bottom of the video. They've kind of moved things around, but you should be able to find it pretty easily. I'm gonna mix this up, and this is going to be our crepe batter. Okay, so while the apples are stewing, like I said, we're gonna go ahead and make our crepes. I went ahead and sprayed this with um, nonstick spray. I'm gonna kind of wipe that out too. You don't want too much. You just want enough to grease the bottom of your pan if you're using butter, the same thing, because if you don't wipe it out, that first crepe is really gonna just absorb all of that grease and you don't want that to happen. So we're gonna go ahead and wipe that out. Like I said, we're gonna go ahead and let our apples cook on the back of the stove. I've turned them down to six, like a, like a medium high heat, let them stew, and now we're getting ready to make our crepes. Now crepe batter is a lot thinner than pancake batter, so once you stir that crepe batter up, if it's really thin, that's probably right. So we have a nice hot pan here. We're gonna take about an eighth of a cup of the batter, and we're gonna add that to our pan. Now when you add that to the pan, you wanna go ahead and get it swirled around really fast, because that's gonna start cooking very quickly. And then we're gonna put it back down on the stove. Okay, so our crepes are ready to flip. They're kind of starting to curl up a little bit. We're just gonna flip it over. If you don't make them perfect the first time, you've got a number of them to practice on. But they're gonna be really simple to make and they're gonna be nice and brown. And they will sit fine on your counter until you're done with your complete recipe. So don't worry about that. Okay, so we already have one crepe done. Here's the second crepe. You can see it's very beautiful. Back here on the stove, I want you to take a look at these apples. The one thing about these apples you don't want to happen is we don't want to cool these off, but you don't want to overcook them either. So I've got them on medium high heat as they're cooking, they're stewing. Um, if I turn these off, it's gonna make a, it's gonna make it like honey. It's gonna be so sticky, you're not gonna be able to add them to your recipe. So you gotta make sure you keep them on the heat, but you don't want them to overcook. So this all has to be done kind of quickly. So while that's cooking, make sure you're moving pretty quickly with your crepes. Our crepes are done and they will lay beautifully on top of each other. They will not stick to each other right here on the plate. Staying at the stove, checking our apples again. We're gonna be economical with our pan. Like I said, this is exactly where we're gonna make our tostada as well. We are not using a corn tortilla, but a flour tortilla. So you're gonna take some canola oil or vegetable oil. We're gonna put enough in the pan. 
that we can fry a flour tortilla. You don't need a lot. We're gonna turn this on to high heat and we're gonna let that oil warm up. As the grease is heating up, I've checked my apples. My apples are stewing beautifully. I'm gonna cut those down now to, to low and let those simmer while I'm cooking my tostadas. After I cook the tostadas, which are gonna be very quick, then we're gonna start building our uh, crepe tostada apple dessert. But it's all gonna be very quick. We are also gonna make handmade whipped cream. We're gonna stack all of this. So you wanna make sure that you don't overcook those apples, like I said. It's very important that you keep an eye on them through the cooking process. Okay, we're using La Banderita flour tortillas. They're six and a half inches in diameter. And I've gone ahead and put them in our grease on high heat. We're gonna go ahead and fry them in the oil until they're nice and brown. And we're gonna show you that. They might puff up a little bit, that's okay. That's totally natural. So you can see our tortilla is starting to puff up a little bit, it's okay. Basically we're making a sopapilla. Once we take this off, we're going to cook all of our tortillas and then we're going to take them off and add melted butter, cinnamon, honey as the base of our tostada. Are you excited yet? I hope you are. So you can see our tortilla is browning and it's hardening. We can go ahead and take that out and we're going to put that directly onto a napkin or a paper towel to get the grease off of it. And then we're going to go ahead and put in our second tortilla. Tongs are important here when you're frying. You can see it's very simple to do, just a few steps. It's going to have that nice texture of an apple pie, that crust and that apple and that wonderful flavor, but we're gonna add that Chinese spice spice that's gonna add a little bit of an anise in there. So it's gonna give a little bit of a different taste and we're gonna have that wonderful French and Spanish and Mexican influence. How wonderful, what a great combination for the 4th of July. So you can see on this one that I've got a big puff here. I'm just gonna stick a little hole in it and get let some of that air out. There you go, and it'll flatten out a little bit. You can do two if you need to. Okay, our tortillas and our crepes are ready. Now we're gonna go ahead and start with our whipped cream and then we're gonna start building. Okay, so one thing you need to understand, when you're making this recipe, you're gonna need a lot of heavy cream because we're gonna make whipped cream by hand. If you wanna use Ready Whip, if you wanna use Cool Whip, do what you want. I like just pure unsweetened whipped cream that I made from hand. So I've got about a cup of whipped cream here in my bowl. I've got my balloon whisk. And I'm just gonna start whisking my Heavy cream until it becomes whipped cream. All right, our whipped cream is ready. It's in stiff peaks. Okay, we're ready to build. So we have our wonderful tostada here. Fried tortilla, we're gonna add to that melted butter. Some cinnamon, basically just by eye, guys. Honey. Basically, we're making a sopapilla. To that, we're gonna add a whipped cream that is ready to go. And you're gonna add a liberal amount of whipped cream because basically you're building a layer here. If you want to, you could actually add ice cream. Now we're gonna add a crepe. We're gonna come over, we're gonna get our apples. We're gonna add our apples. Are you hungry yet, guys? Okay, and then to the top of this apples, we're going to add more whipped cream. And there you have it, apple crepe tostada. It's easy to celebrate the 4th when you have a delicious dessert like this. Here's to you, here's to the 4th, and here's to Hamilton. Let's raise a glass to freedom. <laughs>